Does body language prove Donald Trump did not misspeak at the Helsinki summit and he really did side with Russian President Vladimir Putin over U.S. intelligence agencies? We're going to analyze Trump's body language during his correction statement to find out if he was lying. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, Derek Van Shake here. We're going to do a quick body language analysis on this situation to determine if Trump was lying. If you're unfamiliar, Donald Trump met Russian President Vladimir Putin in Helsinki, Finland. During that press conference, this question was asked. Would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016? And would you warn him to never do it again? And this was the key part of Trump's response. They think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. However, U.S. intelligence agencies have been widely reporting for a while now that several Russians did in fact try to influence the 2016 presidential election. The next day. When Donald Trump got back to the White House with a political firestorm burning. Since Trump clearly implied he believes Vladimir Putin over his own intelligence agencies, he made this major correction that he merely misspoke. We'll first look at the key part of Trump's correction statement uninterrupted, and then we'll break down his body language to determine if Trump was lying. Now, let's get started. I said the word would instead of wouldn't. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't or why it wouldn't be Russia. So just to repeat it, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. And the sentence should have been, and I thought it would be maybe a little bit unclear on the transcript or unclear on the actual video, the sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. Now I'm gonna rewind this so we can look at this in more detail. In this first part, focus on Trump's hands. See if you notice anything. I said the word would instead of wouldn't. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Did you see the two arm pats? That indicates his nervousness. He's patting himself, telling himself it's gonna be okay. And if we look at his body language throughout, he is incredibly nervous during this whole correction statement. He is doing things that aren't very, very typical of Donald Trump. Typically for him, when you're seeing him at a table talking, you'll see him hold one of his arms on the table when he's talking. But during this whole correction statement, he is so extremely nervous. And I'll point out more of that as we go here. Or why it wouldn't be Russia. So now Trump went from a arm pat with his right hand patting his left forearm to holding his arms very, very, very close to his body as he's talking about this key, key correction, which indicates a severe defense mechanism. Also, now that he's holding one of his forearms, it indicates that this is not something that he wants to do. Maybe a lot of his advisors had told him, you must do this. There's a huge political firestorm and this is not going to go over well if you just let it ride. You need to say something. The fact that he's holding his left wrist with his right hand indicates that he's holding himself back. He doesn't want to be doing this. Trump looks like he's reading a hostage statement. Now notice the wince and deep breath that Trump just did. It's like saying, oof, I don't like doing this. Also, the fact that he took a deep breath here indicates that his heart rate increased in a fight or flight defense mechanism. Just to repeat it, I said the word. Now I'm gonna point out something subtle here. Notice what Trump is doing with his right hand to his left wrist. He's giving his left wrist and forearm a slight massage. You can see him gripping and letting go, and gripping and letting go. That indicates he's trying to make himself feel better physically, because he's under a lot of stress right now because of what he's saying. Would instead of wouldn't. And the sentence should have been, and I thought it would be maybe a little bit. Now I'm gonna point out something that's even more subtle. Look at what Trump is doing with his left thumb. He's massaging part of his left hand with his thumb. Keep in mind, these are things that he was not doing. It's only now when he's talking about the big part that he meant wouldn't, not would, that we now start to see his nervous fidgeting and a lot of his self-comforting body language. Unclear on the transcript or unclear on the actual video, the sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. 
right here in the key part of his correction statement where it could possibly be a lie, he takes a deep breath and makes a painful type of wincing facial expression. He's nervous of how this correction statement is going to be received. Is anyone going to believe it? Of course, when Trump is saying this, he's making the news. He does not know how people are going to necessarily respond. He doesn't know for sure if anyone's actually going to believe it or not. Sort of a double negative. You may be asking whether his eye contact indicated that he was lying or not. When he was reading this key part of the correction statement, I did notice that his eye contact was noticeably less than throughout the rest of the press conference. But of course, he was reading from a paper that's on a desk, so it was a lot easier for him to make minimal eye contact with the media that was in the room. So the big question, did Trump lie here? Absolutely. <laughs> Clearly Trump meant, I don't see any reason why it would be Russia. For all of you that think that Trump is a pathological liar where you can't pick out his lies because he believes his own lies that is not true you can pick out his lies but I will say his lying body language is much more subtle than a lot of people's and much more difficult to pick out and why did Trump lie well he probably saw the footage played back and he realized that he looked like a complete lapdog to Vladimir Putin and if we continue Trump's response from the press conference with Vladimir Putin that we were playing earlier watch this so I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today, and what he did is an incredible offer. Then the question is, well then why would he take Vladimir Putin's side over U.S. intelligence agencies? In business, when you sell to somebody, you try to agree with the person you're selling to as much as you can. So what I think what was going through Trump's head in Helsinki, try to agree with Vladimir Putin as much as I can, so the United States could make some progress with Russia and not have a complete deadlock with Russia, as we had in the past. But when he did that, he came across as someone who would try trust Russia of all nations over his own intelligence agencies. Now I want to show you all something that's interesting and pretty funny. When the lights go out, Trump gets extremely frightened. Check this out. Full faith and support for America's intelligence agencies. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. <laughs> If you look at his body language, he gives himself this whole self body hold and his frightened look on his face. There it goes. Okay. You guys okay? Good. It was strange, but that's okay. Which makes me wonder if Trump is afraid of the dark or since he's been living in the White House, the White House has been known to be one of the most haunted places in all of the United States. It makes you wonder if maybe he saw some crazy things happening in the White House and maybe this has just reminded him of some other odd, crazy, supernatural things that he's seen while living in the White House. Remember to subscribe so new videos just like this come right to you and I'll see you at the top.